Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Jake Mix. Today I'm going to be taking this old antique craftsman hatchet and make it awesome again. I'm going to regrind the head, reprofile the edge, and refinish and reattach the original handle here. It's ugly, the paint is completely tore off, but you know, it's still pretty cool and old, and it's part of the history of this thing, so I'm not going to replace the handle. You know, it's a piece of its history, and I don't have another handle right now, and I don't want to wait to go to the store. And it's going to it's gonna turn out really great. I am absolutely positive, um, because I can see into the future, and I know it's going to be really great. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get started. So here's what I'm going to do to the head. I decided I'm not going to draw it out on this because I have a pretty good idea in my head of what I'm going to do and I have a feeling if I try to draw it out I'll end up butchering it and you know getting all kinds of marker all over this thing that I'm not actually going to use. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to straighten the head of this as you might be able to see. It has a uh, upswept tip to it and I don't really like the way that looks so I'm going to make it a straight thing all the way down. I'm going to grind that part off. The top is um kind of jacked up I don't know it's got this funny grind marks almost and I'm gonna smooth all that out make it look pretty I am going to take a good chunk out of the back of this here um, probably come up at an angle sort of like that make it look less hatchet -y. I'm going to reshape a little bit of this probably up sweep a bit in here uh, give it a bit of a bearded hatchet look, finish it up, make it look nice and shiny again, sand it all down, all of that. Alright, first let's take the angle grinder this bad boy. Because I don't want to mess up the heat treat on this hatchet, I'm going slow and applying water as I go along to keep it cool. You don't want to mess up the heat treat. Okay, so I got the rough shaping mainly done on the with the angle grinder and now I'm going to move to the bench grinder and uh, finish up the rough shaping and do a little bit of the final shaping of this thing. Get it more towards the shape that I want it to be at. And then I'll move to my sanders and further clean that up.
Okay, I finished all the rough grinding and sanding on my sanders, and I think I've got it pretty much exactly where I want it. Looking very good if I do say so myself. Now I'm going to take some sandpaper and some steel wool and I'm going to attack the sides of this thing. I already did a little bit on this side and make the sides as shiny as the rest of it. Okay, so as you can see, I did not hand sand all the dings and scratches out. That's because, you know, this is still an antique hatchet, and I think it gives it some character. And because hand sanding is just the worst. When you hear of Jake spending hours hand sanding, um, you know the end of the world has arrived. Um, now, as you can see, the edge profile is actually fairly decent on this hatchet. Not too messed up, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit better. So, back to the grinder. Time for the handle. Now, as you can see, this thing is a real mess. Not only is it disconnected, but uh, looks like it was originally painted red. The finish is completely gone, and yeah. I am going to use this original handle, though, mainly because I don't want to go to the store and buy another one. But I'm going to sand the old finish completely off till I'm down to new wood, make it look good again, refinish the whole thing, and uh, yeah, just make it look pretty. For now, I'm going to sand all the old finish off. So I got my handle sanded down to about a 220 grit, then I went ahead with a uh, much higher grit sandpaper and went ahead and polished the whole thing up so it's very slick now and uh, a little bit shiny. Yeah, it's got a nice polish on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my propane torch here, which will darken the wood in certain spots and make a really nice pattern on it without using some sort of stain. It'll make the wood darker, make it look really cool. I'll go ahead and do that, and uh, then I think we're ready to put this thing together. Okay, burning the wood raised some of the grain up again so it feels a little bit rough. So I'm just going to take some very high grit sandpaper and lightly go over it just to get it nice and smooth again. You don't want to go too much or you'll sand away all that you just did. Now because I've already got a pretty good uh, intact thing here, um, it already has a wedge in it and it's pretty tight on there, I mean, it's just enough where I can loosely slide it on and off, but as you can see, 
there's not much play. So I don't think I'm going to need much to wedge this in here firmly. So I just went and uh, cut off a piece of scrap steel I had laying around and uh, sharpened the end of it so it's sort of a wedge. I uh, cut into it with the angle grinder to give the wood a little more to grab onto. And I'm just going to drive this down through the middle and I believe that's all it's going to be necessary to firmly attach the head to the handle. Oh, I'm nervous about this. Hmm. Oh, I was afraid of this. This thing already had a wedge in it. And by me driving this metal wedge down into it, it's pushing the wedge that was already in it way down there, and uh, it's going to make it look all kinds of ugly, unfortunately. Um, but I've got it wedged in there so good, I doubt I'm going to be able to get the head off now, so I think I am just going to have to roll with it, and uh, we'll see how it looks. Dinged my beautiful head. I think this will be the most solid head in the history of hatchets and hatchet refurbishing. Solid as a stinking rock. Solider than a rock. I bet I could break rocks with this thing that's solider, more solid than a rock. Okay, so I trimmed down some pieces of a 2x4 and hammered them into a couple of the gaps here and here, and then I cut and sanded the tops flush, uh, applied some stain to where they match the rest of it, and uh, there you go. But uh, certainly better than it was, and I'm going to have to be satisfied with that. Alright, time to sharpen this bad boy up. Okay, do y'all have any idea how big this tree is? This is uh, no joke, it's a solid pine log. I cannot believe I actually got through that. This thing is 13 inches in diameter. And I got through it with this little bitty hatchet. Alrighty guys, that is about all for today. This thing is finished, well almost not quite. I didn't put a finisher on the handle, you probably noticed in the video, I just polished it up real high, but uh, I've been running short on time this whole entire video and I needed to get finished with this thing fast. We get company coming at the end of this week and I've basically had almost no time to do this. I worked several hours at night getting this thing done because I had no time during the day, and uh, 
Dad's been using the workshop a lot, and basically just running out and catching a few minutes now and then. I've had no time to do this, but I wanted to get a project done this week so I could make a video and not miss a week, because I said in my last video that my goal was to make a video every week, and I knew the instant that I said it, I wouldn't be able to make the deadline the next week, but uh, I think I did, so. So sorry if the video feels a little disappointed at times. I had no time. It's been really hard filming this because I've got had to like get my mind back into it for like five minutes between takes, whatever, so anyway. This will probably be really interesting to edit when I get around to that. Anyway guys, as you saw, it performed very, very well. It worked great. I didn't put a finisher on the handle, I just polished it up, but y'all know how to apply linseed oil. It's super easy, just like rub it on there. And I'll do that later. I'll also go ahead and make a sheath for this in a future video. Yeah, I'll make a sheath for this in a future video. That'll be great. But for now, this thing's finished, and this video needs to finish because I'm sure it's really long by this point. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next project. Jake out.